All right, guys, let's talk about boots. This is a review about all my lace boots, PNWs. I'm missing just two, but let's talk about them. This, I'm gonna start with Truman. It's my only pair from, from Truman with Bison. Um, this is a smooth leather. It's really smooth. It feels very supply. It is very smooth. I think this is the, for those who like Red Wing and want an upgrade, but you don't want to spend that much of money, I think Truman is what you want. Let me move my phone. This boot is really amazing. It have the same quality level as whites, maybe Nicks, with, well, both ones, but uh, different a little bit on the Beetle. The, the stitching is different, but for those who like a little bit more classic, more, more elegant, you, I, I will recommend you Truman. If you don't want to spend this $550, dollars $6, this you can find Truman with $450 around, more or less. Um, they don't have the kilt. I, I got these kilties. I buy them. Not from them. But I got these kilties. And because I like to use kilties. This especially. This, uh, this letter came with really big locks of, of bison leather. And gives uh, a very um, a good attitude walking with them. It gives a good vibe. I, I love how check out on the hill. They look terrific good. Normally you find the the grain be a little smaller, uh, really small, but I like how these ones show a lot of character on the leather. I haven't used them often. Don't tell me why. I like to have them, but I don't use them that often as I want to. But yes. It's been at least 10 times a year, easily. Okay, let's jump with the white, eight inches. This is brown wax flesh. Brown wax flesh with natural chrome excel. Okay. Eight inches, all laces, bony hunter, lace to toes, elastic toe. This behave really good. I like to use them a lot about casual, a smooth day, not as hard, no beating concrete, just go out in, do an inspection, make a payment, payrolls, and stuff like that. I love them. The Chrome Excel uh, on the upper section behaves really good. I think white is a little, little, maybe it will be six, seven ounces, and Nix mostly handle eight. 7A, and that small difference, you can feel it. You can feel it. It's thicker than a Red Wing, absolutely. A lot thicker than a... It's thicker, maybe not a lot, but it's thicker. The wax flesh been holding pretty good. I haven't scratched it a lot. As you can see, I don't use them to, to do repairs and stuff like that, but walking with the family, you know, errands, been doing pretty good, guys. Let me do this, let me, let me, let me show you. If there are any specific positions that you want me to do, I know you're gonna say why you, you, you didn't got a tr tripod. I broke it <laughs> and I haven't buy one. This green been getting darker, the natural Excel, but, but behaving very good. Natural Chrome Excel Natty is a really nice leather. Okay, vegetable tan. Vegetable tan br British. British? No. Yes, vegetable tan. Yeah, this is color tan. I don't remember the name. It's British, British tan. I can't believe I can remember, but I know it's tan. It looks a little orange. When I go outside, I'm on the walking 
with the sunlight bring that orange color not very orange bright like a, but it's like between orange and brown something like that absorbing water of course whatever is underway let me show okay this is gonna take whatever wherever is in front of them they're gonna absorb everything gum a little gum there let me let me do this slowly i love this this boot i love it i love it love it you can see i use them but not as hard same like same like the white now for i don't take this this one on the front line it's always on the back i like it i really like it i use mostly the the buck brown why because this is very smooth leather man this is smooth and and dry the bunny hunters this is smooth oily and this is like smooth waxy they're different but they, they are these three ones are smooth but definitely man the smoother one is this one this is this vegetable tan meal i think the meal all these little grains is meal like like a deer pattern it helps a lot the leather to be flexible to move it, it gives good character i give oil to this one to this one already one or two times i thought this one's going to be a lot darker but no it's, it looks pretty pretty good you can see on the ankle this is the portion that it got very very flexible love it i think this six inches for those ones who who want who do not want that very thick leather this one is perfect whatever you choose meal is is perfect it's perfect highly recommend it highly recommend it check it out okay next one is the Perry's eight inches well I just gave um, a thing uh, um, I don't give them oil I gave a uh, oven of grief I, yes I apply oh no oil. it was oil yes I give them a little oil because it was it was dry this is a dry leather you feel it a, a bit dry so I gave them oil and they're behaving really good definitely these boots are thinner yes it's a lot it's thinner than than other type of white that I own the price is a lot less it's about four hundred dollars and and a special the Perry select there you go this has been doing pretty pretty good I use them more often I use these pairs often I like how they do it um, I took off the insole that they that they gave you and I put leather insole but after time I decided to put the leather and the, the insole that they give and it's super comfortable same like the Tordaku really comfortable boots I and that's why I use them a lot super comfortable on the on the bottom on the bezel it's really really comfortable highly recommend you use they don't give you a leather insole, they give you just the phone. Let me try to take it out. Yes, they give you this phone, which is, is quite good. And I took, I have uh, uh, some Nicks. <laughs> Nicks in a white boot. There you go. I took this insole from, from Nicks. As you can see, there is my, I use them. It's, I really use them. So what is you can see inside you have right there leather but you can see the nails so i put the leather just to cover from the nails and prevent rusting because you have here rusting and it helps a lot and it's very comfortable i'm gonna leave it like that well next one is the chrome excel burgundy number eight oh man i'm moving a lot okay there you go Okay, I use this boot especially in winter. 
winter cold weather cold the, the coldest days in south texas not too many on the heat even if they're six inches this is thick leather and chrome excel tends to do like behave like insulation so it's a little hard for me to use them in on 110 degrees outside even if it's six inches i don't feel like like i feel like a little hotter than other woods anyways i use them i use them here and there no mercy no mercy on them and it's a really good boot from nyx i like the I like the, it's really thick leather, man. This is unbelievable. When I use them, they're, I don't know what it's about this lace to toe, that it, I feel it's very different from the white. Uh, I will say this is not tougher, it's, it's rugged, maybe, on the inside. On, they use thick leather all around. Maybe white, have a, um, they use the upper with less leather and the bottoms, with a little bit more i don't know maybe there is some balance there but here you have thick leather man like this is when i use them i know i can kick a guy and this guy is going to be in the hospital this is this is really really thick and i love it i love it i'm not complaining it's i i love it but these are ready for november december especially december or when we are at 80s, 70s, that's enough call for me. <laughs> they got darker. I use, I don't give oil to this one, just Venetian cream. A lot of times I use them and I, I already gave maybe six, seven times Venetian cream. And behaves pretty good, man. Check the grain. But let me see. You can see here, it's, it's really thick, man. This is really, really, really thick. Sorry if I move a lot, guys. Sorry. Okay, this is Horf Run. Next one. Bonnie Hunters Blue Navy. They called Navy. Navy Horf Run. And yes, absorb everything. Even if it's dark, you want to see it. You want to see the difference. You're going to see the difference. You see the water there? You may see water. Let me. You're gonna see spots. You may see there, right there. You can see it. Some spots here and there about water, especially on the hills. There you go. I love it. I give oil to this leather. This one came, Horvron always came very dry. This one have on the, on the inside some gold, gold. I think it's a gold line. I, I think. I may be wrong. I have I haven't checked very well, or maybe it's like this the horror from. I don't think so. No, no, it is not. It behaves. You ain't gonna believe it, but these horror fronts, the fibers are closer. But I use them on the on the summer. I love to use horror from on summer. Maybe it's because it's very dry. The leather is really dry. When you walk in, you hear the eh, 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 eh. You hear a little bit of the leather um, sounds. Like this. There you go. You, you hear that, I get oil and behaving really, really amazing. Only thing with Wise and Bonnie Hunters, even if they give you the kilties, the kilty is not wide enough to, to prevent the eyelets to damage the the tongue so i take it off like what's the reason to use kill this if it's not going to prevent it's not going to prevent this you can see here how you have a really uh rigid structure the whole rum is is quite rigid it holds the shaft really good some other legs will will move a lot will move easier like this one, you can see the creases here. Check the differences and check the whole thing. It's very firm. Yeah, it's a firm leather. Love it. 
This is our rebuild. It was chocolate with wax. I gave wax to the upper. You remember? Bottom is um, brown. Brown wax flesh, actually, from NYX. Well, Harwin, right? And yes, these are war boots. I use them. You can see on the heel. It's elastic toe with a toe cap. Amazing boot to work. The leather behaves really good, really flexible, like Chrome XL. All Chrome XL have 10 speak of the wax because of the waxes and it's a cow high. You have a lot of flexibility. You got, it, it's not that flexible as the vegetable tan that I own, but it's not rigid like Latigo. So it's a really comfortable leather. I, I think it's a sweet spot. It's the most versatile leather. I, I recommend anyone. I start with the Chrome XL, then you know if you want thicker, if you want thinner, if you want a dry boot, if you want oily. I think it's the perfect, most neutral, the most versatile uh, leather around. Wax flesh or, or, or Chrome XL, like the inside or the outside is same. This leather behaves very good. I have, I've been using this boot maybe six months. And the upper is work leather by NYX from Seidel Tannery is the rough out chocolate. You have upper with the chocolate and on the bottom brown wax flesh. Let me zoom so you can check the grain. Okay, there you go, there you go. I haven't applied anything to this boot and I don't think I'm gonna do it for quite a time. Not because I want to see the patina, because I want to get a better uniform. More as, I want to take off all the wax better so I can give a good thick coat and don't have that many chunks in all the boot. But it looks pretty, pretty good. It's gonna stay like this one more year easy. Even if you have some, some scratches here and there it deserves to to conserve the the character of a worker guy. Thumbs up to all blue colors. This is Latigo, okay? This is the difference. Latigo you is, is gonna feel the this is it's rich, it's thicker, rigid but flexible. Latigo is it looks Latigo it may be flexible but it's thicker and once maybe it's maybe I feel that thickness because I don't have this elastic toe maybe that's my perception and that's why I'm saying this feels rougher to to break in right now I already break these boots these are not stiff anymore that's stiff anymore but because I, 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 I can feel with my toes the leather uh, I made this mistake to choose soft toe with Latigo I think to everyone who buy Latigo, I recommend use elastic so you don't so you don't rub your foot a lot with thick leather. It it doesn't hurt me at all, but I feel the leather and it's uncomfortable. It, it doesn't hurt me, but it's a bit uncomfortable when already when you are kneeling, not when you're walking, but when you're kneeling, when you're making a lot of effort, when you flex a lot of the band, you can feel the leather. It's a bit a little bit uncomfortable. I'm not crying. It's just. It is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Okay, you can see here. This one I gave oil, I think. Yes, I gave, uh, uh, no, grease. The grease of oil. I think, no, it was oil. Check the, check the, already start losing color. Like, check on the shaft. Then we go down to the heel. It's gonna be brighter because uh, the leather expand right, right on the heel. But, check out. Check it out, check it out. It start losing f the, the pigments on the front, on the band. Already start losing pigments. Latigo tends to do that. Just be aware about it. And I like it. I really like it. You can see here, I haven't lost any pigments. And there you go. Check it out. Clear. Okay. In the front, every time that I give oil, it looks like the pigments come back. It looks darker, but as soon as you start using them, 
after one more and two, it looks lighter everywhere. You don't have to flex to look lighter. I hit a lot on this side because I have white food all day hitting the floor. I like Latigo. It's one of my, I like all my leathers, Latigo, love it. Next time I will choose elastics, of course. This is a perfect sample of using soft toe. This is amazing as a soft toe. I wouldn't use elastic with this type of leather. This is rough, no, no, not rough. Well, yeah, rough. This is with wax, wax, cinnamon, pony hunter. One of I have been using this book maybe two, three years. It's already gave about three times uh, Venetian cream. Is this is one of my favorite. I love how the patina go with this one. It's uh, very uniform. I use it more casually. And the rolls on the front of the BAM, they look really, really, really good. Um, let me check the grain on the back. There you go. It looks fantastic. This is the one that I like to give Venetian cream. Just let it dry and brush it and give a little, uh, one more coat. Let it dry, Venetian cream, then brush it. And that's it. The le it's a very, very free maintenance booth you don't have to do a lot with these ones i don't i don't even use saddle soap just a, a bit of water and remove all all the 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 dust and that's it it makes really good rolls i love it it's really comfortable this wax flesh is really pliable saying i took off the kill this this is small laces help a lot to be comfortable and this is a big difference about being wise how to choose your your boots this white wax flesh came came always like six ounces and nyx is definitely eight ounces you can feel the thickness you can feel those two ounces differences Make make the day a difference. Make the day. I would with NYX. Uh, if uh, even if it's same leather, same type of leather, I will get elastic toe. But with white, I can use soft toe. Oh yeah, and be comfortable all day. Another soft toe. Rangers. This is NYX Rangers. Tan, Rofa. Work leather. It's not sixty four brown. The work line tan. Tantanon, or uh, they call it Max Support now. Back in the day, it was work leather, so I always say by work leather. This was, uh, I gave oil to this one. It absorbed the oil fast. I haven't given oil anymore. I think that was enough. It was very dry. Now it's perfect. I think it's the consistency of the leather is nice. Every time I use this one, it gets better each time, period. I don't want, I, I will cry maybe if I lose this boot because it took me a lot of time to look this good and the most I use them, the most I like them. I don't want, an, I don't want another 10 ruffle in my life. This, this is enough. I don't even want to rebuild. I love this leather. It became a bit dark because of the oil, but it got, I really like this letter. I saw a lot of people using this one for the stitch down down this year, the 23 contest. I don't blame them. It's, it is it's perfect. It gets a little dirty. Rough out, it gets dirty. And you can see here, like check the upper, check the bam. Check the upper, it's cleaner. Check the bam. It's darker. You have a mix of, of dust and you can prevent that. It's gonna happen and if you have OCD, man, this is not for you. But if you like to get this dirty pull oil, it's amazing. It's a very, very good leather. It behaves really good. This is a perfect balance. It's not rich, it's, it's rigid, but it, it's neutral. I think it's the most neutral, the most neutral. Chrome sells the most versatile. 
because you owning Chrome Excel, you're going to know where to go. It's on the right middle. But this work letter, I think, is the, the middle point for work letters. Don't get Latigo, don't get wax slash, with, at, at least with Nix. This is perfect. You will know if you like raw file, if you want it smooth. I think this is a very good letter to choose if you choose the two tones. Bottom, rough out, upper, smooth. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Okay, guys. Uh, let's go with the next one. Love these Rangers. This is... Okay. Work letter. Same one. Rough out, smooth. This is a uh, max support. Ten, smooth. Max support, ten, rough out. This is the, the, the smooth side, and this is the flesh, the flesh side. So, same leather, just flip. At least that's what they told me. <laughs> Here, well, what can I tell you about this boot? You already know a lot, a lot about this one. This is 120% break. <laughs> this, uh, I, may, I can sleep with this one with no problem. I think that there's only a few pairs that I can use them, take a nap on my, on, on my sofa, and then wake up and, and get out. This is one of them. I, I, it will not cut circulation. The, it's, already, it's already beyond comfortable. Not because of the leather. I think it's just because I use them a lot. And that's what happened with all the PNWs. When you use them just a lot, it became really, really, really really comfortable and you don't want to you don't want to you don't even want to rebuild them not even change the the, the, the auto that's why many people take the auto and it looks very thin and you say why why they wait so long when you are at this level you know why you don't want them to change and for those one who is watching this video if I'm telling lies let me know. I bet it. I bet anyone. They will feel amazing about this leather. I already give oil maybe two times or three. Two times and grease. I, I gave grease to these ones. I haven't given nothing. It's supply enough. It's really supply. This one do not need anything else for quite a time. This I think this is the perfect point. It got to the perfect point. When it, when it first arrived, they came really dry. And as progress, using them, oil, then oil, then grease, and that's it. They don't need anything else. They do not need anything else. I have a lot of life. I mean, that's a lot of life. And I use them. Maybe the heel, because the heel, as you can see here, you see, I walk a little to upset, so sometimes walking, I feel like the unbalance, but I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait. And to finish, this is the stitch down, the stitch down white horse run. This is another horse run. Man, Toscanello, Toscanello. These are really, really, I use them casual. This is, uh, this is what I use on summer because hard from, for some reason, it do not insulate your boots. At least, and this one have not the, they don't have the gold. You see? My, let me take, let me take here. This one came, this one came with this lamp. I think it's a lamp, a lamp, uh, I, it, I, it may be me, but if you rough out, it will look like this, like, like this Toscanello. You see, this one were made on September 22, one year ago, actually. Nice. I use them. I use them for going with the family. They are really, really nice. It has some green character. You can see the lines of the horse. Let me check. Okay, there you go. There. This pattern is really nice. This I, I like this boot because normally white, normally white have the this type of stitching. 
with the, with the roll on the front. And this one is just a flat like NYX. So it's like having NYX with a white pattern. Man, it's a good hybrid. Highly recommend at least to have one. So I was thinking to get an X six inches, but I think this is enough for me. I don't use the many six. Toscanello looks pretty good. I haven't gave nothing to this Toscanello. I may give oil because it feel a bit dry and walking. There you go. Like hitting the wall, if you know what I mean. Well guys, this is my collection. This is my, my, my collection, 13 boots of 15. I have some in my truck. And I have another one, which is a surprise. I really hope you like the video. I didn't want to make it too long. I didn't want to talk too much. I'm gonna try to make the segments. So if you're interested just in one type of leather, you don't have to guessing what portion of the video i'm still learning guys i'm not a computer guy uh this i'm not a te technology guy but try my best even if i quite young i'm trying my best the turn on apprentice we are thank you everyone god bless you have a terrific good weekend Today is uh, September 15, 15 de septiembre, Mexican Independence Day. So we're going to have fun today and tomorrow. God bless you guys. Make love, no war. Bye-bye.